Hello everybody, this is Tim here again, here to do another movie review. I figured I'd go ahead and do a review of Black Panther. Now, just to start off, this is a three and a half star movie out of four. It's a really good movie. I don't think it's a great movie, but it is really good. It's the best of the newer Marvel films, and I will say that Andy Serkis is great in this film. Um, pretty much you got the plot. You got it, uh, it picks up after Civil War. You got um, T'Challa um, the cat as a, you know, Black Panther. Um, and I love all the allusions to, like, um, African-American, you know, history and stuff like that with slavery and things in this film. It's really well done. It's directed by the guy who directed Creed, Ryan Coogler, I believe is how you say his name. He does a really good job here directing. There's some bad CGI in the climax of the film uh, when the two Black Panthers are fighting. Uh, pretty much you find out in the film that T'Challa's father had uh, killed his brother, who was an extremist pretty much, and wanted to take over every other place and free African-Americans all over the world but destroy everybody else pretty much. He's an extremist and he had a son and his son is played by Michael B. Jordan who is great in this film, the best Marvel villain because he's the best developed. And um, Loki I would, uh, is second to him. Loki has more movie appearances but Michael B. Jordan's character is much better developed and much more of a badass. Um, but yeah, um, we get into the film. The cast is all good to great. None of the acting is really bad. You got... Um, the girl who plays uh, T'Challa's sister in the film is adorable. She's really cute. She's one of the best things about the film. I hope she's in the sequel. The directing is really good. Uh, like I said, there is some really bad CGI at the climax when it's Michael B. Jordan versus T'Challa. Uh, just the two Black Panthers fighting. Some of the CGI looks really bad, like Justice League bad. Um, you get, um, I wish Andy Serkis would have had more to do. He's friggin' hilarious in this film. He's pretty much still in uh, Animanium, I believe. And that's how they run everything and all that in their um, in their Wakanda. Uh, that's how they make all their technology. I would like a little bit more insight into that, but what we get is cool, and the place looks beautiful. Um, when, I loved Andy Serkis's like robot arm cannon he has in the film. <laughs> Pretty much, he gets killed by Michael B. Jordan, who we find out betrays him and takes him out because he wants to bring him there because he's an enemy of Wakanda and that's how he, he wants to win over the people and he gets in there and he find out he's been trained his whole life to kick T'Challa's ass so he can take over the throne. One um, kind of cliche thing here is the like uh, he kicks T'Challa's ass and throws him over a waterfall uh, when we know he's uh, when we when, it's just cliche because we know that T'Challa's not going to die because he gets thrown over a waterfall. 